Hello and welcome to CHTV. I'm Ian Vance and alongside me is my broadcast partner, Jack Thompson. Jack, tonight it's a big time matchup. Two McDonald's All-Americans, two five stars, a three star. I mean, you talk about a loaded roster. That, that three star could be a future five star. That's just how good this team is. So Khalil Ware, one of the five stars, seven foot tall, wins the tip. Inside, Khalil. This is his footing. The Panthers absolutely going nuts right now. Looks like Sitzman is on Nick. Sitzman for three. Too hard, won't go. Coming the other way. Khalil will take the three. Got it. Seven foot tall, you can't even leave him room. He's going to shoot it. Jermaine Christopher. Drives downhill, finds the open man. Not so open any longer. Fast a break, Nick Smith behind the back layup. Talk about the that finesse. That man's going to Arkansas. That's the, that's the number five currently. Best player in the nation. Christopher, up top, gets it blocked. Up ahead, Nick Smith. Drops the dime, but he's gonna be knocked away. And actually, they're gonna call it out of bounds on Corey Washington. And you can just see the f difference in these teams. It's just the height. The height. I'm really hoping for Chris Leakes to put up a good performance. Sitzman. Oh. High pass. Trying to find I mean, Leakes. <laughs> you're throwing it over a seven footer. It's almost like. That's a tough, yeah, that's a tough pass. Yeah. Tried to force that one. It was a good look. Smith steps. 4-3, gets it to go. Nice little hesitation. Eight to zero so far. Bennett, back to King. King will take the three. Got it! And that's King with the three. In the corner, Frederick, down low, Khalil Ware with the reverse, won't go, Washington. They're gonna call it out on Washington. No foul call, that was a lot of hands. Panthers will have possession. Overrated chance coming from the Word from all section. Word Sitzman with the layup, great find from Jermaine Christopher. Word from Austin King, he did not want them to chant overrated. Five. You know, you know where that goes. Five to eight. Clover inside. Tries to double down. Rebounded by Le Leaks. Four minutes and 50 seconds left. Here's Christopher. Throws it away. They're going to call the charge. It was set Tyler up. Frederick set up for the charge. And Trip Dyer coming in the game for Chris Leakes early. I don't understand that. Chris well, Leakes. you're missing you're missing a big man starting Jarrett Coleman. And, and you're, you're also missing, missing a Gavin. starting guard. You're Gavin missing Muse. Gavin Muse. Both vital pieces to this team. So your bench is limited. Nick Smith stop and pop. Short off the front. Corey Washington with the dunk. See that a lot. That's a lot of Corey's game is get inside and just dunk the basketball. He definitely he's leads real, in dunks on the team. He's real physical, real athletic, got, got hops. Pretty long. Kicks it out, extra pass, Bennett. Nobody open. 
Hits it to Dyer. Christopher. Down low, Dyer. King takes the three. Off the back rim. Dyer fights for the rebound. Won't go. Nick Smith down the other way. Nick attempted to throw the lob. Corey Washington. And one. Oh, never mind. Not and one. They're going to call it before. They're going to call it on that first attempt. He's going to be shooting two. The Panthers are playing really good right now. I mean, there's only so much you can do against two five stars. And they're doing everything against them. They're playing outstanding. We love to see this. And the intensity in this building is just crazy. I'd, I'd really hate to be at home right now. Five to 11. Corey Washington on his second free throw. Won't go. Christopher to Bennett. Bennett can't get a shot off. Takes it inside. Gets it to Dyer. Out to King. Got 15 seconds left. Christopher wasn't expecting to get it back. I don't think Christopher was expecting to get the ball back on that. No, I mean, you got a young center in the game and Tripp Dyer is a sophomore. He's been getting some more playing time recently. And you just, you got, you got to excuse Smith. him for his mistakes. And Smith just takes it in on Blake Seeger. He's got that height advantage. I mean, Blake is about 5'10 to where Nick Smith. Nick Smith is about 6'4. Braden Hall coming in the game for Brandon Bennett. They're trying to get this, they're trying to get a taller lineup in because they see Nick North Little Rock has a bunch of tall players. So, got to combat that. Seegers. Top to Christopher, he's going to slow this one down. Felix Wade on the defense. There's King, kicks it out. Christopher in the corner. Somebody's got to shoot it. Eight seconds left on the clock. Blocked from Khalil Ware. Here comes Corey Washington coming down. The lob misses the dunk. Way up court, Jermaine Christopher. Blast by Khalil Ware. And that could have been, oh, oh my lord. Corey Washington loses it, and a quick timeout call. The intensity in this building right now is, out, is just unreal. I mean, I've I, never seen anything like it. I can't even hear I much can't, right now. I can't, like, I can't express, I can't, oh my. It's a crazy game so it's, far. My emotions are just off the charts right now. 5-13, to 13. Uh, there was a lot that just happened right there I, in that sequence. Because I love, I love seeing my friends just absolutely try their hardest to combat these future NBA stars. You could call them future NBA stars. Some elite talent for sure. Some league talent. And it's, it, it, it's just personal. It's just. That's a, that's, a crazy, that's a crazy sequence right there. A lot that just happened. They attempted the lob. Nick Smith wasn't able to dunk it. And then down on the other end, you had a wide open Jermaine Christopher, but I mean the length of Khalil Ware, it's just not even fair on that. Where are the legs? King loses the ball. Smith the other way. Fakes the three inside. Off balance shot. Christopher. Well, I meant Corey, but he didn't get it. And now Christopher with the ball. A minute and 30 left in the first. Knocked away by Washington. Okay. 
Panthers aren't playing too scared on the defensive end. On the offensive end, it's looking like they're just not really one to attempt enough. I mean, you really just got to put shots up. You, it doesn't matter what happens, man. You just got to play the game. Play the game as hard as you can. I know that's hard to say. But that's, I mean, that's easy to say, hard to do. But people have got to put attempts up to even want to have a shot here. So there's Seegers. Downhill. He tried to draw it. And that is an absolute wild call to call. <laughs> Had a bounce on Seegers. And <laughs> wow. That was clearly off of a I mean, number 13. Who, Josh Evans. Who hit the ball? Who got it to go out? I think that's the defense. I don't know. I don't understand that. I don't understand. That. Didn't have an angle. Poor Washington up top finds the open man, Khalil Ware, with the dunk. Whenever, whenever you get it to that seven footer and you're under the paint, your best bet's just to <laughs> get out the it way. It was smart to front the paint right there, but gotta have help side. Oh. Nick Smith the other way. There comes a nice layup from Felix Wade in the full court press. Already in here, Sitzman gets around. It's a really physical game. Sitzman has a shot, couldn't get it. At least got the attempt, Braden Hall up top, and they're gonna call foul. So Braden Hall will get to shoot two. This is a super physical game so far. It's been a lot of missed calls. Oh, Braden Hall misses the first one. We finally have the scoreboard working. We apologize. 25 seconds left, shot clock is off. Nick Smith with the ball. Khalil Ware. Throws it up, won't go. 10 seconds left. You gotta, you gotta get down the court, come on. Now you got five. Sitzman doesn't have much time. Three, two, and gets it knocked away. No extra shot. So at the end of the first, five to 17. Panthers down, we'll be back in the second. We were back in the second quarter. And starters back in for the Panthers. Corey Washington out on Christopher. To King. Skips it over. Bennett will take a three. Short. And the other way. Up top, Wade Smith takes the three, spin, misses the fadeaway. Christopher, or Washington, I keep saying Christopher. Washington came in trying for the offensive rebound. He got it, and so this will be a foul on him. He'll get to shoot two. And Washington one of the most physical players on his team. Surprisingly, only has one offer, and that's to Pine Bluff. 
I think he'll rack up more, though, as we go He's on. He's taking an unofficial visit tomorrow to the U of A. Nice. He makes both. Five to 19. Up court, King skips it over. It's a risky pass. King wide open for three. Got it. Big three. His second one of the night. Inside. It's Khalil Ware. Short shot, rebounded by Sitzman. Up the other way, here's Christopher, facing a double. And Sitzman skips it over to Bennett. They like to gamble those extra passes. Christopher gets away with it. King, another three. Oh, rimmed out. That was a good look. Christopher able to keep his dribble alive. Here's Smith with the alley-oop lob to Khalil Ware. Looks like he took no. a few extra steps there. <laughs> yeah, but can we just talk about how casual that was? You're seven foot, I expect it. Yeah, if I was seven foot, I could do that too. Leaks. Cross court, Christopher. Has to shy away off. King, he's gonna put up another one. Rimmed out. Just can't find the touch. And King's shown what he hasn't shown a lot, and that's confidence. He's shooting. And he's clearly one of the best shooters on this team. Yeah, he's putting a high volume up. Here's Smith. And put back one-handed to Lil Ware. They can start getting out of hand quick. Panthers really need to lock down on defense as much as possible. Got a double on that backside. Christopher gets it blocked. Up ahead, Nick Smith. I'm going to call the foul. They're not. So Trip yeah. Dyer, I think, is going to end up taking the, this substitution inside for. What, what was I just saying? Trip Dyer is going to substitute for uh, Chris Leakes after this first shot. We get it. go for Nick Smith. We're all, we're all filled with emotions right now. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. The atmosphere is just so crazy. Smith gets the second one. And 24 to 8. Christopher, dribbling this one out. Inside, Dyer takes it reverse. It's a good look, won't go. Sitzman with the offensive rebound. Back to Sitzman, he'll take a three. Short off the front. Shots just aren't falling for the Panthers. Getting a lot of looks. Open shot, won't go. Christopher with the rebound. Cutting inside, it was Tyler Frederick, but they're going to call it out on him. Blake Seegers Bennett checks in. Bennett to inbound. For, Blake Seegers checks in for Sitzman. Got a man press the full length of the court. Here's Seegers to Dyer. Dyer. King will take a three short off the right. But I mean, that's the right idea. You that, need it. You're that, really gonna want to put up a lot of shots, a lot of volume here, because you're not, you're gonna, not gonna get it. You're not gonna get the shot that you want every single time. You're not gonna get inside. Let's just be honest. You have a seven footer. He's a foot taller than everybody else on the court. I mean, you're not gonna get inside. The best thing to do is shoot. Yeah, high volume for sure. Here's Ware, keeping it himself. Fades away with the shot, won't go. Short, almost air ball. Christopher up court. Almost, almost threaded the needle. Chris, 
And uh, Christopher Chris shot away. He thought, Jermaine he thought Nick Smith was about to go up with Jermaine the Jermaine just got out of the way. He did not want to be in that way. Bennett for three. Won't go. It's the right idea. Seegers gets it. Christopher the other way. Oh, my goodness. And where is the foul? Oh, they called it. They, they called it. it. Christopher. Christopher. Christopher went for, Chet. He okay. went for a bowl. I want to say, I got to say something real quick. Christopher is, I think he's a 5'9". Five 5'9", nine. Five nine, that's a 7-foot guy behind him. Jermaine Christopher just went up for a dunk. Jermaine Christopher just tried to dunk on Khalil Ware, who's 7'1". Boldest move I've seen in this stadium. That's no fear, and honestly, I don't blame him. I why, why have fear in this matchup? Jermaine, you, Jermaine's you one of my closest friends. I know he doesn't have fear. That man is fearless. That was a great... That was a great attempt right there, honestly. I mean, it was a clear foul, too. They're going to have to call it sometime. He was trying to make the night memorable. It gets only one to go. I, no I can grab, I, I salute him. I salute him for even just attempting it. And, he, and if he wouldn't have got fouled, he probably would have done it. Smith downhill, open lane. So much he can do, he's just so shifty and fast. Those types of players are really hard to guard. Yeah, I mean, when you're third on a 2023 mock draft, you should expect a lot of elite skill. I mean, that is straight up the truth. So here's Braden Hall, taken inside. Finds the contact, big body. Didn't get any contact, but he created his own shot. Sitzman getting checked in. They're gonna send a blitz here. On Smith, he's just gonna chunk it the full length. It's inside, Khalil Ware. One on one, he can't create his own shot, gets his own board. And just a little one-handed push up right there. Christopher the other way. King in the corner. Braden Hall. King inside finds almost up in man. Ware's just going to block that one. Here's Smith using his body and gets his own rebound, gets it to go. Full court press still. Most likely they're going to keep this the whole way through. Should expect him to leak out, try to get some fast breaks. They operate the best in the fast break. Christopher for three, short off the front. Smith loses the handle. Looks like it's going to stay charging Wildcats ball. Khalil Ware coming out of the game. It's the first time he's come out of the game yet. Checking in Corey Washington. Washington. It's in on Sitzman in the dunk. Woo! With some authority. No. Hit him with the stare down after and everything. No, no comments. No comments. Christopher for three. Won't go. Rebounded Dyer. Now you got a minute left. And Christopher's dead with the ball. Washington gets it. A lot of hands everywhere. There's Nick the other way with the dunk. One handed slam. What a dunk. Oh, the other way. The other way again. It's three on two. Frederick with the layup. What a couple of possessions. What a couple of possessions. Oh, whoa. 
That was two, fierce. Two crazy dunks. Just that was to a show fierce authority. dunk. That was a fierce dunk. I, Ian, I don't think I've seen a dunk like that this close. Oh, I've seen I've seen a dunk like that this close. I've seen Malik Buck back in 2016, man. That was that's a star right there too. That's but a star. Nick's a star as well. I mean, uh, a little bit of a diff, not too much of a difference actually. And when Malik Monk came here, but he was number third in the nation, and now think, you have Nick Smith, number five in the nation. It, do you think it's safe to say that this is the tallest man we've ever seen in this arena? Yeah, this is, it actually is the tallest man I've seen in this arena because uh, Jalen Williams, current Arkansas Razorback, I mean, he's been in here. He was 6'10", and yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably the second tallest guy I've ever seen in here. This is just crazy. Panthers trying to hold out, 11 to 38 into this first, holding out for this last shot. It's Christopher inside. Chris gets it knocked away. Blocked away from, by Sitzman. And you got to respect it. Sitzman, yeah, highlight play performed on him. He hasn't. He doesn't have his head down. He keeps it up. Still gotcha. playing good defense. And props to them. Props to him for being fierce. Props to him for being out there. On the inbound, and you have a significant height advantage. They're just going to throw this one back. I mean, he jumped with him. <laughs> jumped with him for the ball. Landon Sitzman, he's not small. I mean, he's 6'3". And Corey Washington is 6'6". Six, six. One second left. This could very well be a lob. Will be. Puts back the dunk. I don't know if he did it in time, though. Count it. Count it. Puts it back. And your score at halftime will be 40 to 11, Wildcats lead. We'll be back. is Arkansas School Board Recognition Month. This month-long observance is an excellent opportunity for the Cabot School District and the community to build a stronger understanding of the crucial role school boards play. 
Board members are elected volunteers who give countless hours of their time to ensure the success of our students. These past few years, they have navigated and faced many difficult and demanding issues, all while handling these challenges with grace and dignity. Now is the time to show our appreciation. Please join us in recognizing our seven outstanding Cabot School Board members. Joe Trustee, President. Sarah Owen, Vice President. Marvin Jones, Secretary. Pam Clem. Dr. James Herzog. Kevin Tipton, and Corey Williams. We are grateful to our Cabot School Board members for their leadership, love for our students and staff, and dedication. Thank you for your service and hard work to ensure the Cabot School District is the best district in the state. Just for the hundred and fifty-six and the morning will be closing at the end of the third period of the ice contest. Stop behind you or a person, drink the host before exiting the arena. Thank you.
And we're back. Wildcats starting the ball in the second half. The lob up to Nick Smith. He kind of didn't really get it. He's joking about it a bit. That's a way to start off. Yeah. Pass is a little too high. Here's Christopher. And that's going to be a turnover. It's a bad pass. Just it was King. Well, it was the... The connection King was cutting right as it was bad timing. A little set here. Smith off the screen. Dishes it out for three. That was number one, Charles Maris Jr. Christopher running with him. Back tip. Christopher still keeping control. Man, hands just everywhere. They're just all over. Talk about the length on this North Little Rock team. They've got, they've got the length. 6'6", 7 foot, 6'5", not to mention the wingspans of all three of them, and 6'4", Tyler Frederick. Sitzman, pull-up jumper, tipped from Khalil Ware. There's Nick, dishes it out. Khalil will take the three. Won't go. Rebounded by Bennett. Bennett gets it tipped away. Nick throws it up. Here's Corey Washington with the up and under reverse. You don't see that every day. You don't. Nearly thrown it away. 11 to 47. I mean, this is getting brutal. Christopher. Sitzman. King will take a three. Won't go. King's been cold lately. Smith fakes the three inside. Easy layup. He does this move quite a lot. He lets him jump out on him, thinking he's going to actually Shoot the three and slows down, speeds up real quick. And Khalil Ware just sent that out of there. I mean, that's not going to work. He knows it. He's shaking his head. I don't know how many times you have to do it until it 
clicks in your mind, you can't drive in on a seven footer. Throwing it way up to Chris Leakes and up top to Sitzman. King will take a three, won't go. He needs one to fall, but he's putting up the volume. Frederick, he'll take it, got it. This leads up to 41. Sitzman takes the three, got it. That's their first points of the half. Inside, Khalil Ware missed the dunk, but bailed him out with a call. Yeah. I don't know about that call. Yeah, but he just missed the dunk. Yeah, he missed the dunk. Now they're going to bail it out. Short off the front on the first. Gets the second one. Comes that full court press. A little man. Seegers driving downhill. Shies away. Sitzman takes the pull up. Got it. Sitzman with seven points. Finding himself a groove. Oh. Smith with a mean crossover. And the pull up to go with it. It's Christopher. Out to Bennett. Seegers. That was a bad pass. Sitzman still able to find it. Tries to go into the contact. He blocks it anyways. Khalil, Khalil's just, he's just got a habit of just sending everything that comes towards the rim away. And that one, when he should have grabbed it, he just ended up throwing it away. Let me, let me just put this into perspective. Chris Leakes is significantly. Hold on, hold on. Nick Smith ahead. Tried to throw it back for the dunk oh won't go. Oh my gosh. But let me continue. Chris Leakes is taller than me see, by a pretty good amount. And Khalil Ware is towering Chris What a Leakes. finish. Christopher just and finished through. That's something to brag about. Smith misses the layup. Rebounded Sitzman. Knocked away. Here's Washington. The lob. Oh, man, the lobs have just been off for the Wildcats. I mean, Looking like they don't a lot of bad, Just a lot of bad passes. Oh. Missed the jumper. Ware will step into one. Short. Over the back. Seegers gets the rebound. Christopher finds space. Short. And up ahead, Nick Smith. And Bennett, he's just gonna break up that lob. <laughs> They're just they're just playing around right now. Yeah, this is uh this is some backyard basketball now for sure. Just seeing just having a lot of fun with it. These guys, they don't have they don't have much to play for really. I mean they've already they've already got their next next level ticket reserved. And for a little wear, that's a monster jam right there. Throws that one way up. I mean you're bound to find that one. Braden Hall, it's that one knocked away. King will take the three, won't go. 
having a tough time shooting three-pointers in this half. Smith on the hop, won't get it. They're going to call a foul. Um, Smith knocks down the first one. Smith on the second as well. There's Christopher with the ball. Inside to Dyer. Skips it over. Christopher's going to have it open. And yeah. he gets a little bit of a dunk right there. He's trying to have fun with it. Get a little bouncy. Jermaine showing him that he can dunk too. Smith on the drive. It's hard to step in front of that. So quick and long. They're going to call that one. And finally, they call a foul against. Yeah. Christopher went with a, a super fast drive in and gets the, draws the contact. 61 to 20. Coming towards the end of this third. And North Little Rock boys basketball is currently number 15 in the nation of schools. Here's Khalil Ware on the lob. Goodness, nearly couldn't find the crown. Almost hit shots by bots. Gonna see the signs down there. Here's Smith to Khalil with the little finger roll, a little euro on it. Back door, Brayden Hall. Bennett will take the three. Got it. Here's Smith. Lost the ball. Christopher, shifty. Draws the contact, couldn't get the and one. As I was mentioning earlier, this is the number 15th high school in the nation. That's both public and private. Three losses currently. It was coming from Jonesboro High School, the only in-state team to beat them. And out of state, lost to IMG Academy. We, we know about IMG Academy. Private school, so not too surprising. This is a, this is actually, they beat the number one public school. They've also beat Kimball, a ranked team. Played at the City of Palms Classic. So this team, they've had, they've had a lot of Experience together now. A lot of games before conference. <laughs> Here's Christopher. And it's denied by Wade. Here's Smith. The under the legs lob. Oh my goodness. Showtime. Is this the dunk contest? Wow. I'll give that a 10. What a pass. Brayden Hall rises hey, up Braden to the Hall, layup. My goodness. I mean, you just talk about it. He's just having fun with it. It's backyard basketball, man. They're just throwing lobs and just having fun with it. Got a mix man trying to rile up the student section in the crowd. That's cheering for him. Smith, oh, he's just going to dance with it. Give him a little dance. Lives for the clutch. Easy basket. Just in time. He letting him know, too. He's letting that student section know. And they scored a whopping 30 points in the third quarter. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And, yeah, they're going to get sat out for the rest of the game as we take a break going into this fourth quarter.
Nick Smith just hyped up everybody, man. What a showing that they put on here. So we had a whole new five in for the Wildcats in this fourth quarter. It's Christopher out to Hall. Hall with the floater. He's had a great game this game, actually. As great as you can have when you're guarding Nick Smith as a sophomore. Here's Kai Davis. Three-point shot. Won't fall. Braden Hall up ahead. He's going to throw it to Sitzman, who tries to go for the dunk. And here's Christopher the other way. He's just going to lay it in. And this rest of the game, most likely, I mean, it's, it's out of control, so you're just going to probably see a lot of people playing out, playing a little bit lazier, trying to get some, leeching out a bit, trying to get some dunks. Yes, maybe. some youngins. Leaks with the rebound. He's going to give it to Christopher, and they're going to call a foul. That's on number 15, Braylon Frazier, sophomore from the Wildcats. Parker Hines. Grant Checking Goddard, in. Trip Dyer, Blake Seegers, all coming in the game. Braden Hall, he'll take a three. Won't go. Is number 15. It's Braylon Frazier. And call foul on number 24, Reed Miller. Student section, North Little Rock, letting them know, waving them goodbye. I mean, you expect, you expect to see this as, a, as our team. I mean, our team's not very old. We don't got much veterans. We're, we're a young team, and this team is, the North Little Rock team is very experienced. Yeah. You kind of expect to see this. I, I wouldn't expect it to be this bad, but you, you expect to see quite the. It's a tough game and a great showing from the Panthers tonight. Everyone tried their absolute hardest. Goddard couldn't get a hand on it. Way up ahead, Reed Miller tries to get the dunk. Gets a foul call. Shoot two, makes the first one. Charlie Powell checking in for a great haul. Getting everybody some experience in here. It's Reed Miller, gets the second one as well. There's Goddard to Seegers. Powell down to Dyer. Skips it across. A lot of extra passes, and Hines will take the three. Got it. Big three. Get the young and some experience. Love to see that by Parker. And nice layup inside. That was number 12, Ja'Cory Withers. Attention, here's the owner of the Chief Charity, Arkansas License Plate, 1772. You're being on HBQ for the Chief Charity, Arkansas License Plate, 
Goddard backs it out and throws this one away. Reed Miller, he'll take it up himself. Nearly knocked away. Powell steps into one. Too hard. Rebounded by Seegers. Dyer fakes it. And then they say it was knocked away. No Wildcats. Off the inbound. Here's Hines to Goddard. Not a lot of movement right now. Seegers kicks it out. Hines gets it knocked away. So they're going to slow this one down a little bit. Davis. Take the jumper, won't get it to go. Just under a minute and 30 now. Seegers misses the layup. Inside, number 22, Robert Griffin. That's a tall guy right there, 6'4". Seekers won't get it. Here's Davis down the other way. Davis, nice pass. We're just gonna back this one out. Davis steps into one, won't get it. Rebounded and fouled. That was number 23, Allen Ingram. That one won't stop the clock. Running clock is the mercy rule rule in effect. 30 seconds left and running. There's most people exiting now. This one's gonna just about do it. And it will. So your final score be 82 to 34. Let our charging Wildcats take the win. That'll be it from us. See you here next week.